Hey, a very good Monday evening to you. I'm NBC3 meteorologist Matt Stevens. I hope this early part of your work week is treating you well. 59 degrees was our official high today over at the Syracuse Hancock Airport. That is above average by just a little bit. 56 degrees is our typical high this time of the year. 44 degrees are low this morning. That was also a bit above average as 38 is typically where we're bottoming out. And our records today remain safe at 83 and 19. I'm emphasizing that today part because coming up tomorrow, our two Tuesday record high is 79 degrees set back in 1927. We're thinking that we could be in near record territory for a high temperature coming up on Tuesday. Here's a fast gas to get you through the overnight. Temperatures initially pull down to the mid 40s and then either become stagnant or sneak back up a couple of degrees by early on our Tuesday morning. As a result of that, temperatures continue to boost up. Warm front passing through on Tuesday. We should be into the mid 70s, a good 20 degrees above average for this time of the year and into near record territory. Most of the day ends up dry, mix of sun and clouds. Chance of an isolated late day shower, better chance of showers and uh, periods of steadier rain, perhaps a rumble of thunder as well Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. Let's time it out for you hour by hour with our future cast. We'll grab this at 7 o'clock this evening, run this out through midnight, turning partly cloudy at times, mostly cloudy, a brief passing shower possible. Through the day on Tuesday, warm front clears us by. We're into a mix of sun and clouds during the day, and I'm thinking that uh, most of the day ends up dry. However, late afternoon and into the evening, better chance of showers and some steadier periods of rain. Could be a few rumbles of thunder in there as well. Through the day on Wednesday, Clouds, few breaks of sun, breezy, turning cooler. Winds out of the southwest generating a lake response northeast of both Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. So I'm not going to rule out a couple hit or miss sprinkles or light showers, but not necessarily an all day rain event on Wednesday. So hometown forecast for Syracuse 76 near record degrees on our Tuesday. 76 in Baldinsville, 75 Marcellus. Mix of sun and clouds generally dry for Moravia at 75, Aurora at 75 as well. Looking over towards Hamilton at a 72, 74 in Norwich, 73 in Oxford, and 71 in Morrisville. Looking up towards Oswego at 72, 73 in Pulaski, and we'll finish up near Governor at 70 and a 68 in Potsdam. Hour by hour through this evening, temperatures pull down into the mid 40s by late this evening. Winds have at least somewhat of a southerly tilt to them, especially once the warm front passes us by late tonight. That being said, probably the chance of at least an isolated showers. Our temperatures sneak back up to the upper 40s by late tonight. Hour by hour through our Tuesday morning, turning breezy and warmer. Look at that. Already mid 60s by late morning, topping out at 76 degrees on our Tuesday afternoon, 20 degrees above average for this time of the year, and within three degrees of the record high, which is 79 degrees. Clouds on the increased chance of a late day. Isolated shower. Better chance of showers and storms on Tuesday evening and Tuesday night at 52 for a low. 59 on Wednesday. A mix of clouds and a few breaks of sun. Breezy and turning cooler. 59 pulls down to the low 50s by late day. Chance of an odd sprinkle or light shower coming off of both Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Thursday, 52 degrees are high. A mix of clouds and a few breaks of sun. Halloween looking a bit dicey. Clouds will be thickening up. Temperatures pulling down through the day. 51 our early high pulls down through the 40s by the end of the day with scattered mainly cold rain showers. Friday afternoon mixing with wet snow Friday night could be some minor slushy accumulations at higher elevations into Saturday morning.